Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shori. Today I came up with this warm smoky eyes which is brown and orangey in colors. If you want to know how to get this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so first we'll start off with the primer. Just a little bit on the nose and the t-zone area then i'm gonna take the next photogenic hd studio concealer and just to color correct on the lids as well taking the real techniques sponge i'm gonna blend that concealer Then I'm gonna use L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm in the shade 7 Golden Amber. Just take a couple of pumps and blend the foundation with the same sponge. I like building my foundations in light layers so it doesn't look sticky. So I'm gonna take a little bit more because I think I need some more coverage. Now that the foundation is done, I'm gonna take Maybelline Age Rewind and in the shade Honey and I'm gonna use it on the eyelid for a lighter canvas so that the eyeshadow looks brighter. Take a buffing brush and just blend it out. So I'll use the Miss Claire powder in the shade 10 to set the eyelids. Make sure there are no creases. So I'm gonna use the Forever 52 eyeshadow palette and this is how the palette looks. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is from Clinique. So you can take any fluffy dome like brush for the crease. And I'm going to take this bright orange shade and work it on the crease in circular motion. So I'm going to build up the crease color until I find the intensity to be just right. So once the crease is done for the lid, I'm going to take this orangey shade. I'm going to use Wet n Wild P15 brush for that and just tap it on the whole lid. Once the lid is done, I'm going to take the same blending brush that we used for the crease and just blend some more so there is no patchiness. For the outer V, I'm going to take this brown shade and the Brush Pro Art PF0H. Take a little bit of that, use it in the corner to darken up the outer V. Then for the lid, I'm gonna use this bronzy shade. I'll just take this on my finger and tap it in the center. So I'm just gonna do the left eye and come back. Okay, so now that both my eyes are done, I'm just going to take a cloth and make sure the angle at the edge of the eye goes upwards and not downwards so it will make your eyes more droopy. Now again, I'm going to take the Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Honey and use it under the eyes to make it brighter. Of the 
I'm going to get this sponge and blend it out. And go a little high on the cheekbones. I'm going to use the Benai banana powder to set the under eyes. Just take a bit on the cap. Top up the excess. Look up and set. What I do is to make sure there are no creases under the eye is I take the head of the brush, squish it a bit and just press it so that there are no creases and the concealer is really set. For the low lash line, I'm gonna take this small blending brush and use the same brighter orange which we used for the crease, tap off the excess. Right on the lash line. Then I'm gonna take the Inglot smaller blending brush. This is of the same size but a little dense so the color will be a little intense. Then I'm gonna take the same orange shade that we used for the lid right here on the lower lash line. But I'm not gonna drag it all the way to the inner corner, I'll just keep it on the outer edge. And then I'm gonna take the angled brush, a small angled brush and the brown shadow and tap a bit and use it really close to the lash line. Okay, for the eye pencil I'm gonna use this Lacme Iconic Pencil in brown. You can use any brown shade. Black would be too intense for this look. So I'm just gonna pop it on the last line. And also tight layer. I have a little fallout over here, so what I'm gonna do is take the same setting brush and just not wipe it but just to take it across and move it upwards so it won't smudge. To highlight the brown bone, I'm going to use a Sigma medium angle shading brush. This is the E70 and take this pearly metallic shiny shade and use it on the brow bone. I like placing it only on the highest arch of your brow bone. Then I'm going to take a little detailer brush. This is from the real techniques. Take the same highlighting shade. Pop it on the inner corner. For the eyeliner, I'm not going to use any liquid liner because it will be too intense and harsh for this look. So I'm just going to take this Savannah eyeshadow palette and take this dark brown shade. And also at the lower lash line. And make sure you connect the outer edge. You can do a wing liner with the same brown eyeshadow, but I prefer it like this. I'm going to take the same brown eyeshadow from the Savannah palette and use to fill my brows. Use a little spoolie and brush the brows. To 
bronze up my face, I'm gonna use this Ellie Gold Pro Face Face Powder, which is in a very dark shade called Chestnut. And I'm gonna use this as a bronzer. I'm not gonna use any blush for this look because it's very browny and warm so I thought let's just use this bronzer as a blush as well. For highlight I'm gonna use this Revolution palette in Golden Sugar too. And I also highlight the bridge of the nose, just pinch this brush. Then go ahead, curl your lashes. Mascara, I'm going to use the Lash Paradise. To make this look a little smoky, I'm going to use these packed single lashes. I'm not the best at applying lashes so I'm gonna do that off camera and come right back. For lips I'm gonna use Ellie Girl Perfect Brown Lip Pencil and line the lip. And for the lip color I'm gonna use the Sugar Smudge Me Not Lipstick in the shade 12 Dawn Fun. It's a very warm brown. You go perfectly with this look. While applying liquid lipstick, make sure your lips are moisturized and work with very thin layers. And on the center of the lips, I'm gonna just use a bit of this pack liquid lipstick in the shade Mystery and just dot a bit and with the finger tap it. And I think I can use a little bit more highlighter. So that's it guys. This is how I achieved this form brown terracotta eyeshadow look. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell below. And also subscribe to my channel for more makeup videos. Bye.